Hello everyone, I am Josh and welcome to this Sims 4 house building video. So today I am building a converted clock tower here in the city part of Windenburg. So it's kind of like on a lot that you can see is kind of in the town square. So it's kind of surrounded by pavement and it's kind of by this canal here as you can see, which is pretty cool. And this is um, in the location, this house is in this location because it is supposed to be a converted clock tower. So it's kind of like, you know, there was, this, there was an old clock tower and it was converted into a house at some point and it turned out really nicely. So uh, as you can see here, it's a very weird uh, looking clock tower at this moment and it does change quite a bit because right now it's pretty horrible and I end up changing the shape quite a lot. Um, I don't think it, it ends up looking anything like this in the end. Um, shape wise, yeah, you can see I'm just completely destroying all of it and I end up just making a nice diagonal square uh, for the tower as opposed to having all these kind of weird supports and other things I don't even know. So yeah, um, this house ends up having three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. So despite being really small, it actually has plenty of space in it for a family at least. And it has a pretty nice two-story living room because the living room is in the tower part of the house, which is pretty cool. And yeah, so you can see here it's coming along. Um, it still looks a bit weird, uh, frankly. I don't even know what the heck is happening with the like little protruding parts in the corners. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea, but apparently I did. And you know, it, it, it wasn't a good idea, which is why I didn't keep them. So yeah, as you can see, this is the final shape of the turret right now. Not the turret, the tower, sorry. <laughs> there is the final shape of the tower, and here I'm getting some uh, tiles on. Um, the lot, actually, if you want to place this lot in Windenburg on this same lot, I have it on here. Um, you can place, I think it's the current, this lot is where the uh, old quarter inn is in Windenburg. Um, it's the same lot that place is on. So if you can find that um, venue, then you can just like replace it with this house. Or I mean, you could place this house in any lot that's, you know, that works too, but it looks really good here at Windenburg because they kind of designed it for that, and I use a lot of get-together items in this house too. So uh, right here you can see I'm working on the other parts of the house that don't include the tower. So this little area there is going to be an attic. Uh, you know, it's a useless space, but it's kind of interesting. Well, I mean, you could make it into like another bedroom and half bathroom if you wanted to, but I didn't bother to do that. So I kind of just left it as useless space. But, you know, I'm impractical. You might be more practical. Uh, if you want to add some more rooms to the house, you can probably do that there. But uh, I like the way it looked from outside. So, you know, I just made it an attic. Anyway, here you can see I'm putting, um, I'm, well, I'm going to put, I think, the roofs on shortly. I'm not sure when, though. Uh, here I'm putting some trim on. So that's always a good start. It's a sign that I'm about to put the roofs on. Here we go. Now we're starting on roofing. Uh, so this little attic area, as you can see, is going to be under kind of like a main roof, which was the whole idea uh, behind it, hence the term attic, because it's under a roof. Uh, yeah, so, you know, it looks good. Uh, I'm just putting some roofing on here, and there you go, there's some roofing. Wow, it's exciting. And there's some more roofing, and there's some more roofing, and there's some more roofing. So it looks pretty good at this point. You can see that's the main section there, um, and I'm putting some more roofs on. And yeah, so that's the first floor done. And now, yeah, I had a bit of trouble with the roof and that diagonal part there by the, where the kind of tower joins the house. Um, it was a little problematic because the roof clipped into the tower and the it wasn't cut out from inside, so it looked pretty terrible. Uh, so I had to be a little creative with that, so I ended up um, just putting a flat roof for part of it. And you know, what inspired me to do this clock tower was the gigantic clocks that came with Get Together. So you can see I'm putting them in here on the top of the tower, and I'm kind of recessing them in so they kind of blend in nicer. Uh, so yeah, there's these just giant clocks that came with Get Together, and it goes perfectly for a clock tower, so um, that's probably what they're for. And it looks really nice, so that's why, um, why I decided to do this house. And you can see there's the uh, clocks there at the top of the tower, and I'm putting a little detail there on the tippy-tippy top of the roof. And now I'm about to um, yeah try to sort out this area here where the roof joins the turret, or a tower rather. I keep calling it a turret, but it's really a tower, but I mean, yeah, you get the idea. Anyway, um, yeah, so it was a little challenging, and I was, I was at one point, I think, going to expand into a third floor, 
but I didn't do that because that just looked way too much. Like, there was just too much happening if I did that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> you can see I'm just trying to make it work here, but it doesn't end up working out until I just put a bit of flat roof on there and, you know, that solved the problem. So here, I'm just messing around and it's just quite a disaster, really. It just is it's just not good. It's not how you want your roofs looking, so... You know, I just scrapped that idea, there you go, just scrapped it completely, it's all gone now. And now I'm just putting the roof back the way it was. And I think this is the way I leave it actually, like right the way it is now, pretty much. Um, so, you know, it, oh wait, what am I doing here? Uh, where did those walls come from? I don't even know what happened there. Okay, I'm obviously not paying good enough attention. Oop, that was a really quick rotation. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, so I guess I sorted that out. Anyway, I'm putting in some balconies. Um, that's exciting. Those balconies are not the final ones. I make them a bit smaller, but there are going to be balconies there. So there you go. There's some beautiful balconies. Um, only one of them is actually a balcony um, because only one of them has a door and the others just have windows. But the one with the door has no way to really get to the door because I kind of blocked it off with furniture. So, you know, none of the balconies are really usable. They're just kind of for show. So you get the idea. And here you can see I'm putting in some stone and brick on the outside. So I kind of used a combination of stone and brick and stucco on this house, or I guess it would be plaster, whatever, you get the idea. So you can see there, I got a couple of layers of uh, brick here that I'm putting on. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, oh wait, no, maybe it's only one layer of brick. I don't even know. It, there's, 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 I think two layers. I'm, I, don't, I don't know what I can, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I, I, whatever, you get, the, you get the idea. There's gonna be brick and stone. That much I know. Anyway, you can see I'm putting in some windows and some ivy, so that looks nice. You can see there's some ivy there and also some nice flowers. I really like the ivy that came with Get Together. Uh, it's quite nice, quite a bit better than the flower box trick, uh, so it looks a bit more realistic this way. And here you can see putting in some paint there up by the clocks, and uh, I think I'm going to move the brick down a bit more, or at least expand the amount of brick I have in the front, but I'm not sure. And you can see I'm putting some more stone around the place, and I'm about to put in some plaster so you can see I just put a little bit in and I'm putting some more in there you go it's that classic Tudor style uh, so you know the house it kind of just looks like a normal house from some angles with a giant tower attached to it because you know just I couldn't fit the entire house in the tower and it was really difficult to get stairs in the tower without another house next to it because you can't put stairs on a diagonal because the tower is on a diagonal so what I ended up doing here was obviously just adding quite a lot to the tower. So you can see that there's this whole house pretty much attached to the tower, and the tower is just part of that house. So uh, like the living room and the master bedroom are both in the tower. So like the main rooms of the house are in the tower, but then you have like, you know, the kitchen, dining room, and like the guest rooms are attached to it uh, as part of the other part of the house. So yeah. Anyway, you can see um, I'm putting in some windows and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, there's more windows coming in and it looks all quite good and dandy. I still feel like I expanded the brick down two layers, but I don't, maybe I didn't. No, I think the way I have it now is the way I leave it. So there you go, that's interesting. Anyway, you can see just putting in some trees and stuff. So I put in a bunch of trees because I wanted there to be some privacy because some of the windows, like giant windows in this house are like literally a few feet away from where people would just be like walking around. So, you know, because this house is kind of in a public space, it would probably be nice um, to have a few trees, obviously I put curtains on all the windows and everything too, but you know, the trees help make it seem a little bit more secluded. Uh, there's no yard on this house because the house pretty much fills the entire lot and because there's like a, a wall and then it's a bunch of trees and you know, so there's really no yard space on this house, but it's like a tiny little bit in the back, but it's filled with trees. So. You know, there's not that much yard space, but anyway, I wanted to make a room on the third floor, but I couldn't get the stairs to work right because it just took up too much space because you can't place stairs on diagonal. I don't know why. It would be so amazing if we could place stairs on diagonals. It would be amazing, but can't do it, so it's quite a shame. Anyway, um, so yeah, I ended up just having a two-story ceiling in the living room uh, because that I couldn't get a room on the third floor, so I didn't bother. And oh, there's that one door that leads out to the kind of somewhat usable, but mainly fake balcony. And here I'm just gonna start laying out the upstairs floor plan. So you can see there's just a bedroom and a bathroom upstairs along with the living room. And there's also the attic space. And downstairs here we have the kitchen and dining room in the front of the house. And then we have a kind of octagonal study, a small bedroom, and then the master suite, so. Yeah, the, the downstairs is definitely 
bigger than the upstairs, but you know, it's a pretty decent floor plan. It's like a little weird in some places because of the shape of the house. Um, you know, you know me, I always build my houses from the outside in, so I just kind of try to work in whatever floor plan I can with whatever ridiculous shape I came up with on the outside, which is really not the best way to plan houses at all, but I still do it that way, so whatever. Screw logic. Uh, and here I'm putting in a fountain. Um, it's really a pool, but because I could, you can't have natural fountains. You can only have natural pools, so I use the natural pool thing. I put a tiny little one there, and you can see there's like some plants coming out of it. I also put a steam thing in it, so I guess it would be steaming uh, when in like live mode, and I don't know. It's just interesting. And uh, here's some landscaping coming in, and some more ivy. I think I do. Um, I think I'll do all the landscaping before I even move inside at all. So. That's definitely interesting because I don't tend to do that. I usually um, do the inside then the outside, but I did the outside then the inside this time. So, you know, mixing it up a bit so it's a bit more interesting. And uh, yeah, so also putting in some columns here on the inside to make it look like the other wall is more supported. And um, putting in some railings and stuff just because it's nice to have railings. And also putting in a bunch of fake little balconies um, on the third floor there just to make it look fancy. I don't know, there's no reason for them to be there besides just looking cool. So, you know, it looks nice when you're like, kind of inside the house. So you'll see in the screenshots at the end how it looks um, from inside that room, which is pretty cool. And um, yeah, also putting in a few details here and there and like like these little... Uh, I forget what they're called. I know there's, I know I knew the name at one point, but I forgot. Like, like little supports that kind of like go under roofs or balconies or something that hold them up. Um, anyway, they look nice. I put them around the clocks uh, at the top. Uh, and I also put some on the ba fake balconies in the living room, so you'll see that. It all looks pretty nice. And there's some more trees coming in, finally. I think I'm going to start on landscaping now, hopefully. Or not. I'm going to put doors inside. Okay, that's fine, too. Uh, putting some doors around the place. Um, you know, doors are convenient, and there they all are. And also, there's a couple of fireplaces in the house, too. One in the dining room kitchen area and one in the living room and there's a rug on the floor which is nice to have and uh, yeah so uh putting in some uh little details on the roofs and there's another chimney there and a large chimney and a little i don't even know what i'm doing I think I, I, there we go i was about to say i was, thought i was going to put a bench out the front but i just did now anyway there's some nice benches out the front and here we go we're finally starting on some more landscaping so landscaping is my classic landscaping. Got a bunch of bushes, some of those low flowers, and then just some... Oh, actually, I didn't put any rocks in this landscape. Totally forgot about rocks, but that's okay. Um, put a bunch of flowers around the place as well, so you can see some nice flowers. Also a golden bird bath, because those are nice. And yeah, so... Looks pretty good at this point. And somehow, because I'm charging my phone next to me, Siri decided that she wanted to activate. You probably didn't hear anything, but... She did just pop up. Sure, I didn't even say anything that would activate her, like stupid Hey Siri thing. Now she's gonna come on again. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I don't like, not only do I have to put my phone in, do not disturb on a record video, I just have to make sure it's not plugged in because Siri just likes to activate herself whenever she pleases, apparently. Um, anyway, putting in some terrain paint here. So you can see there's some lovely terrain paint, uh, which makes it look all nice and fancy schmancy and also makes it look more realistic too and also putting in some lovely stone flooring inside i really love that flooring and i never have used it before actually i don't think so it looks pretty nice and i'm also putting in some outdoor lighting at this point so there's like a bunch of lights around the house it looks really nice i also put some lights on top of the clocks so at night like the clocks light up which is really cool because after all it is a clock tower so you know that's kind of an important part there you go i just put those lights up the top and it looks so nice at night um so it looks pretty cool and now moving on to the kitchen. Uh, so it's a pretty small kitchen because, again, it's a pretty small house. Like I said, it's not a colossal house. You know, it's fit on a really small lot, and it pretty much fills up that whole lot. So, you know, it's pretty small, but it, I think there's a good use of space. Because, I mean, I did fit three bedrooms in, and there's, um, you know, a nice large living room too, which is nice. And also a study, so it's a pretty decent-sized house. And anyhow, here's the kitchen. You can see it looks nice so far. Uh, putting in a golden um, oven hood there, which looks pretty classy. And, uh, you know, a little microwave and some wall paint as well, which is nice to have. And you can see this is going to be a kind of multi-purpose room here. So it's kind of like the main room of the downstairs. Um, so it's got, like, the little entranceway, and it has, you can see I'm putting that in now, 
uh, has like a little sitting area by the fireplace, it has the kitchen area, and then it has the dining room area. So there's a lot to this room. You can see there's actually a real closet there in the entranceway, which is cool. So there's a real closet. Uh, so I guess you would like, you know, you store your shoes or coats or something in that closet, I guess. And here you can see putting the dining table there by the bay window, which is nice because it looks like right out to the canal, which is pretty cool. So I think that's a nice view. Also, it looks right out to the pathway where people would be walking. So, you know, you get the view, but you also lose like all your privacy. Like I would not want to live in this house in this location because, you know, if it was in real life, you'd have people like walking all around like because like you know there's like a pathways all around the house you know it's kind of like in the middle of like a public area like a public town square so it's like there'd be people everywhere and they'd be all like be able to look right through your windows at whatever you're doing so a little problematic but it's the sims so you know it's okay i can get away with it so anyway you can see a lot just happened while i was talking about that we have the kitchen done we have a dining room there we also have a small sitting area by the fireplace which is pretty nice and yeah, so it's a nice, cozy, uh, warm room, and that's kind of, you know, sets the theme for this house. It's a very cozy house. So is the living room, too, upstairs, uh, which I really like the way that turned out, too. And uh, so now I'm just putting in a few more little windows just for decoration. And here's a little half bathroom that's off the kitchen area. So this is a little, little half bathroom for guests, I suppose. I mean, there's a full bathroom. Actually, the only full bathroom uh, with a shower in the house is the master bathroom. Because uh, the guest bathroom upstairs just has a tub, but there's no shower, which is probably a little inconvenient uh, because they, if you have to take a bath every time you want to clean yourself, it'd be kind of annoying. But, you know, if, I mean, it's so simple to change it out into a shower. I just kind of wanted to have a bathtub under the tower because that bathroom has kind of its own little tower in it. So I thought it would look cool if the bathtub was under it. So that's why I did just a bathtub and there's no room for a shower, but you'll see that when we get to it anyway. Uh, so right now you can see I just put like a bit of flooring in the, um, whatever room that was, the study room, that's correct, study room. And here I'm putting in some curtains and stuff in the living room. So you can see we have this really nice living room here, putting in some lighting and other such things. And you can see those fake balconies, which I, th you know, they're kind of interesting. I don't know, I just thought they kind of added an extra dimension to it, but maybe you don't like them. And if you don't, I guess you can get rid of them. It's not that hard, but I think they look kind of cool. Anyhow, we're working on the living room now. You can see we have this nice rug on the floor. That's pretty much the only piece of furniture in the room right now. Also, I really love that bench I put there. You can see I kind of put it by the stairs, and that's kind of, you know, it's just like a little extra sitting area, uh, and it looks kind of cool. And there you can see there's the couches in the room now. Um, there's also a little side table, and um, a bunch of plants and stuff as well. Um, and, and some lamps. This is a really cozy room. I'm really happy with it. So I did indeed use that olive green sofa too. I wasn't so sure about it when I put it in, but it actually works pretty well with the color scheme of the room. Like, you know, you have all the warm tones and everything. You have kind of like those golden color on the curtains and like the brown carpet, like kind of the beige on the other couch. So like the olive green kind of worked in all right. And you can see we have that nice chest coffee table there in the center of the room. And also putting in some more plants, of course. Uh, just kind of make it look a little bit more warm and lush and whatever and putting in a bunch of details and things and yeah there you go pretty much done at this point uh, so pretty nice living room plenty of seating space you can seat uh five sims in there actually no seven sims because there's the bench as well so like seven sims can sit comfortably in there which is like almost a full household and i believe a full household is eight sims so you can pretty much fit a whole household in the living room, which is pretty cool, uh, considering it's a small little house with only four seats at the dining table, so, you know. And I believe that uh, five Sims can sleep in this house, because there's two double beds and a single bed, so, you know, it's a decent-sized house, uh, considering it's, it's such a tiny house. I think I did a pretty good job with this space, uh, so yeah. Anyhow, this is the upstairs bathroom I was talking about, like, a few moments ago. You can see we just have that one tub, which is kind of under the tower. So I did that on purpose because I thought it looked cool and there was no room for a shower once I did that. So I just kind of, you know, just had a sink and a toilet as well. So you could easily fit a shower in that bathroom. It's more than big enough um, if you kind of put a tub shower combination in. But I just kind of wanted the tub because I thought it looked cool. So now we're moving on to the master bedroom. I oh no, actually we're not. We're going to do the guest bedroom upstairs and then do the master bedroom. Anyway, yeah, so this is upstairs here is the guest bedroom. You can see it's a pretty decent sized room. It has that nice stained glass bay window, which is fancy schmancy. And we also have a nice double bed there 
and some nice curtains, um, which really were stubborn. There were stubborn curtains. They did not want to go on those windows. So I gave up on them because they were evil and put in different curtains instead, which were far less evil because um, they actually didn't give me a headache. And uh, putting in some chairs and a lamp, of course. And also putting a little uh, detail in there with some columns and also a bit more interesting, you know, wallpapering, whatever you want to call it, stuff. You know, there's a, few, there's a bit more wooden detail. Uh, detailing in the wood wainscoting, whatever you want to call it. Uh, whatever, I, I changed it. You, you saw. Anyway, putting in a few things at the end of the bed there and putting in some details around the room. So there's a nice painting there over the dresser. And there you go. So now we're going to do the small attic space, which is pretty quick to do because it's very simple. There's some shelves in it and some knickknacks and paddy wax and doohickeys that have no purpose. You know, they're all here. Everything's accounted for. There's some computer parts. Oh, there's a birdhouse outside. That's nice. And there's um, also just some random crap, really. That's, that's, you know, that's the fact of the matter. There's just random crap in here. It's completely wasted space at this point. I mean, I guess if you want to, you could make this a bedroom. You know, it, it totally would work, but it just would be a really weird shaped small bedroom. Also put some cobwebs up too from spooky stuff. Um, yeah, not that spooky, but it just kind of gave the illusion of an attic, I guess. Anyway, the attic space is now complete. So now we're moving on to the master bedroom, which has a stone floor, which would probably be really unpleasant to walk on barefoot, uh, unless it's like really hot out, but I don't know, like if it was, I would imagine it'd be really cold and rough, but you know, I thought it kind of looked interesting. It's the only bedroom, all the bedrooms actually have different flooring. The upstairs bedroom is carpet, the guess, small bedroom downstairs has wood floors, and the master bedroom is stone floors, so that's interesting. Anyway, uh, there's a nice double bed, a sitting area, a little bookshelf area, the little closet which you can see there, a uh, mirror, and there's a nice rug on the floor to make it a little bit less unpleasant on your sim's feet. Also work on the closet here, so it's a um, decorative closet. It's not a functional closet like the one in the entranceway is. Uh, you know, it's just made up from with some decor items and stuff because there was no room for a, um, a real closet from get together. Um, so, you know, I just kind of made my own because it was kind of an awkward shape. So now we're moving on to the master bathroom, which you can see is pretty small, but it does have that tub shower combination so your Sims can get their showering game on. And there's also a nice painting there as well. And some nice marble floors as well, which is quite nice. And a robe over the toilet, because there's no other place for it. It's probably not the cleanest spot, but you know, it gets the job done. And we're almost finished with the inside of the house here, so I'm going to be doing uh, the kids' room and the office pretty much. And since we already did all the whole outside, there's not much else to do once we finish these two rooms here. So uh, this is going to be the office. We have these nice kind of octagonal shape, which was a little hard to work with. I'm not sure how many items in this room are usable because um, it's kind of cramped. So like the chairs in the middle kind of block the art easel and the desk chair, as you can see here. So uh, I hope everything in the room is usable, but I'm not entirely sure on that. And you can see I just put a grandfather clock in the living room. Um, you'd hope there'd be a nice clock in this house considering the entire house is pretty much a clock tower. So I mean, you'd hope that There'd be a clock at least somewhere in the house. And uh, here you can see I'm putting together the kids' bedroom now, which is the tiniest bedroom I've probably ever done. It's a little teeny room there uh, that was kind of excess space. And I'm like, oh, do I want to make it a bathroom? Nah, I don't know. And I said, oh, I'll make it a kids' room. So I made it a kids' room. And there you go. So we're pretty much done here. I hope you enjoyed this house build. And if you did, um, I really appreciate it if you check out my channel. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.